Hey there folks, it's Adam here from Tornado GPS. Just wanted to show you the web version of the app. So as you can see it loading here on the screen, this is what you would experience if you were on a computer using Tornado GPS. So as you can see over here, you've got is there any activity, watch, or warning. Down here we have uh, the distance between you and any potential warnings in your area. Uh, it focused around my area, which is Barrie, Ontario, so that's why I'm in the middle of the screen. And besides that, it automatically should load a 3D radar for your area, so that's why we have two little blobs of noise here that showed up in red. Let me just back out here. There is your globe. Now, if you hold down the shift button while you click the left mouse button and move it around, then you get... Well, that was a little glitchy. Then you get to move the earth, which is kind of amusing. All these golf balls, of course, are the radar stations. So if you wanted to click on one, let's go down here to uh, is this Eastern Texas. If you hit the OK button, it doesn't do anything. But if you hit the View button, it will actually load the radar from this station. You might have to give this a few seconds because sometimes there's a lot of information like there is right now and it will be processing the model and then it uploads it like that. So, let's take a browse around here. Pretty interesting. Um, I'm using the mouse scroll button to go in and out on the 3D models and then I click the map with the mouse and move it around. Now if you click the sky things are going to go a little haywire. Uh, you might end up on the other side of the Earth. So try to click the Earth. So somewhere below the horizon there would be preferable. Unfortunately, in this particular case, the Earth and the sky are a very similar color. So I think we're going to change that to something. It actually would be nice up here to overlay uh, satellites. So even when you're down here looking at the 3D models, you can look up here and see what the cloud cover would be at that exact area. That might be interesting. So, I pan around here. If you want to fly into a storm, you just keep scrolling up on the scroll bar until you're inside, and then you can look around. Now, some of these tiles won't load here. That's why they go to there is no photo. You can just back out a bit if you wanted to get rid of that, mm, depending on the height of the storm. Eventually, we're going to lock those so it just stays with the highest resolution. Uh, but the reason we've left it a bit is because there's a new satellite coming into play called GOES-R and it's going to be uh, four times the resolution of what you see here and often updated. So hopefully we can have that real-time data right inside of our app which would be awesome. Anywho, right now they're just giant red blobs. What we want to add is, because uh, I believe the the DBZ level, the reflectivity level on this is somewhere around 40 or so so it was more of an orange color, but we gave it a red tinge to make it look somewhat more interesting. As you can tell, it's somewhere in the the darker yellows that it gets the load. But we want to change that back to its legit color. And inside of here, it would be interesting to also load uh, hail. So you could see a big hail core floating right here in the middle of the storm. That would be interesting for sure. There's uh, 800 million ideas we have for improving the app. We're slowly working on them. Uh, new sales have uh, allowed us to pay our developers in Spain and pay our developers here in North America and have them start working on some improvements. So we'll keep doing that, and uh, hopefully things get better and better and better as time goes on. Thank you so much for your support so far, and I look forward to adding new features to the app. Cheers.